हेलो एवरीबॉडी दिस इज जीनल एंड यू लिसनिंग टू अ फर्स्ट पॉडकास्ट ऑन कमर्शियल इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ प्रोटीन एंड फैट डिटर्मिनेशन इन रेडी मील्स वी हैव ऑनलाइन विद आज आर गेस्ट स्पीकर डॉक्टर मसीमो कोकिया हु हैज अ यूनिक प्रोफेशनल जर्नी ब्रिजिंग मॉलिकुलर बायोलॉजी एंड इंटरनेशनल सेल्स ऑफ साइंटिफिक इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन विद अ पी एच डी इन मॉलिकुलर बायो एंड मास्टर्स इन मार्केटिंग ही इज ट्रांजिशन from research on the human genome sequencing project at the NIH to pivotal roles at multinational entities uh, like bio La- biorad laboratories and leka microsystems uh, since 2012 he has been instrumental at buki labotechnic showcasing his expertise in uh, product specialization and supporting global sales operations showcasing a rare blend of scientific acumen and business prowess So thank you very much Ginald for this very nice introduction and a warm greeting to all our viewers. I'm quite happy to be here and I will be uh, really uh, happy to answer all of your questions and I hope really to be helpful uh, to the people who are listening right now. Thank you again. right so my first question to you masimo would be uh, what are the typical food items uh, that fall under the ready meals category and what is the importance for our society so ready meals are convenient pre-cooked pre-packaged goodies that need minimal effort to get on your plate um okay. think instant noodles ready to eat curries frozen parathas microwaveable meals canned soups and more and they offer a variety of different flavors including authentic indian ones from an economic standpoint ready meals are one of the food industry's key drivers in fact their market is projected to reach 64 billions of dollars in india by the end of 2023 with an annual growth rate which reaches more or less 10% in india we find both domestic and international players battling it out with innovation product variety and competitive pricing as well uh, some very uh, well the known names include maya camel foods food herth tasty bite ashoka mtr and others so broad ready meals are also a global hit they are everywhere and that comes for a reason in today's fast paced world finding time for elaborate cooking is quite a challenge everybody knows that So ready to eat food is a quick and hassle-free solution for busy professionals, millennials and young couples. And finally, I would highlight that ready meals don't mean necessarily compromising on quality. There is a heightened focus on food safety and hygiene, and that's crucial for the industry's growth. So established brands adhere to strict quality controls and international food safety standards and that really helps building up consumer com- confidence actually right uh, who doesn't love a quick meal yeah actually everybody likes quick meals that really everywhere not only in india but in europe in us and in asia at the moment yep right uh moving on i would like to know what are the key nutritional factors that typical indian consumers look for when well, choosing in, or in any india yeah. oh no thank you for your question yeah In India uh, consumers have become increasingly concerned about health and well-being. So nowadays con- customers focus on key nutrients like protein, fat, carbs, calorie and protein content and that is especially important for fitness interested folks. So they like healthier fats, they avoid the saturated and trans fats. and really to keep our hearts really happy 
authenticity is another crucial point. Um, people like uh, uh, genuine flavors rooted in traditional spices like cumin, uh, coriander, and so on. So in the ready-to-eat market, companies must stay competitive through constant innovation. They need to offer new flavors, various dietary options, think gluten-free, vegan, organic ingredients, and also fusion food choices, which really matter most to younger generations. Finally, um, packaging. Packaging is really, really plays a vital role in maintaining freshness and ensuring a, a reasonable shelf life. Uh, really catering to consumers who may not consume ready meals immediately, but rather they keep it in the fridge for some time. So as demand for information and quality control rises in India, testing laboratories become therefore essential for accurate results, prompting increased competition and the need for enhanced productivity and efficiency while maintaining high quality standards as well. Right. I think well said, uh, India has uh, definitely a long path ahead when it comes to ready meals uh, being the future. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, ready meals are, um, um, you know, really uh, something that we really is taking a lot of the market and in uh, some uh, uh, in some places really there uh, everywhere. Yeah, yeah. So uh, how is it, uh, how do you determine the protein and fat which contributes to the overall quality of uh, ready meals? Mm. So chemical analysis is crucial. It's crucial for ensuring the quality, the safety, and the high standards of ready meal products, as we just said. Mm -hmm. um, therefore, um, analytical assays are necessary they have to be rigorous and numerous. And this is a task for testing and manufacturers' private labs. So for example, accurate determination of protein and fat content is critical to ensure and to enhance product quality. I would really like to draw um, the attention of our viewers on a critical point. Maximum precision is essential. Let me explain. So first, think of nutritional labeling. Highly precise protein and fat content information allows accurate nutritional labeling on packaging. And really is essential for customers because customers, for example, uh, may undergo specific dietary goals or restrictions. Consistency is the second point. So a precise determination of protein and fat content really ensures each batch of ready meal really that maintains a consistent, a consistent taste and texture. That's crucial for meeting the customer expectations. But also taste and texture itself is really important because that can really influence the taste and uh, really um, the acceptance of ready meals for uh, from a, a customer's point of view. And uh, really uh, a precise protein and fat content enables food manufacturers to achieve a desired flavor, a desired flavor profile, a mouthfeel, and in the end, a satisfying eating experience. Regulatory compliance, last but not least, accurate measurements help manufacturers to meet food safety regulations that prevent legal issues and product recalls that associated with protein and fat content standards. Cost control, cost control is also important. Knowing precise protein and fat content allows manufacturers to optimize ingredient usage and that helps controlling production costs and maintaining competitive pricing for customers. And finally, shelf life. So fat content and composition can impact heavily 
product shelf life with differences noted between saturated and unsaturated fats, mm. of course, yeah. Right, uh, definitely, and I think it's high time the consumers realize uh, what they're consuming. Yeah, there are many examples of that in the market. Uh, I mean, in uh, a 2018 paper, for example, in the US, um, it was well noted that uh, having a very precise food label actually uh, helps the market, helps consumers uh, to choose in a wise way, in, in an informed way they are eating. So it really helps the market and finally the growth of companies. Yeah. Right. Also, uh, could you explain us the methods and technologies uh, that could be used for protein and fat determination in the food industry? Okay, yeah, so the technologies, yeah, with pleasure. So um, we have to think of the big five, the so-called big five components. Proteins and fats are part of this big five. And proteins and fats among the big fights are crucial for both nutritional transparency and regulatory compliance. Right. So um, key analytical methods therefore include those that are needed for proteins and fat determination. When we think about proteins, the Kildall method really comes up immediately. This is a widely recognized classic method involving digestion with sulfuric acid to quantify nitrogen content and protein content. And Kjeldal is really known for reliability and versatility. Although the old age, this method is still the international standard for protein and nitrogen determination. That is in food, in feed, and finally in pharmaceutical products. Uh, Soxlet, Soxlet determination. Soxlet, the Soxlet method was developed back in 1879 from uh, uh, Dr. Von Soxlet. And this is the international standard for fat extraction with applications in uh, contaminant analysis, packaging migration studies, for example. Uh, acid hydrolysis. Acid hydrolysis is used to uh, really hydrolyze fats into fatty acids. And this is particularly important for fat analysis because you need acid hydrolysis as a prior step before extraction. That helps uh, uh, chemically bound fat to mobilize and really ultimately uh, to be determined in the right way. And finally, I would really um, name uh, uh, near infrared spectroscopy, NIRS. This is a non destructive technique that provides rapid, simultaneous analysis of multiple parameters. That is uh, efficient and cost effective, both for quality control and process monitoring, in, uh, for example, in production plants. NIRS main benefit is basically uh, simultaneous analysis. So you don't need to waste your sample, you don't need to uh, really uh, lose time, lose time, so you can really reduce the amount of chemicals uh, you use for your analysis. And um, that is really essential in production because it ensures correct formulation, quality inspections, and real-time adjustment in production. So that helps maintaining product consistency throughout the entire process. Yeah. Okay, that's great. Uh, and what about the challenges that food manufacturers face in ensuring uh, accurate protein and fat determination of the content in their products? Yeah, that's a, that's a tough question because food manufacturers actually face several challenges. Um, let's, uh, let's try to put um, ourselves in their shoes. So they have to lower operating costs. They need to ensure reliable results, reliable, reliable products. They need to comply with norms. 
they may need to uh, increase safety and reduce waste disposal costs. So our company, Buhi, Buhi Labotechnic, plays a crucial role in addressing all of those challenges and achieve really cost savings. Take automation. Um, automation, in fact, reduces labor costs, speeds up the process, improves accuracy, can help you minimize reagent and sample usage, can help you maintain really um, your really uh, the maintenance needs really low, uh, can help you to enhance the safety of the process and really simplifies also data management. While the automation is often perceived as a cost, as an initial cost, it is worth considering for any lab because um, actually it ticks the savings box as no other innovation on the market. The exact savings that you can achieve um, largely depend on your uh, lab sites and specific needs. At Buki, we are specialized to help you figure it out that. Let me explain. Um, an automated instrument is generally more expensive than its manual or semi-automatic counterpart. We know that. But through a careful cost-benefit analysis really becomes very much evident how the initial investment pays off very quickly. We estimate actually the early cost savings depending on your sample number range. So from 50,000 Indian rupees to even 500,000 Indian rupees per lab. Today, modern labs aim to automate as much as possible to, to free analysts from manual and often tedious and unproductive tasks. The automation of routine labs uh, uh, actually optimizes the workflow and increases productivity at the same time. I can give you an example of that. Uh, we offer an automated Kildal system uh, made for automated digestion and distillation with, uh, that comes with an auto sampler. With this system, one single operator can handle 120 samples per day with a lot of time left for additional tasks. Interested? So, for example, you need one automated digestion unit which cools down your samples automatically. The same rack which you have been using for the digestion can be then moved into the automated sampler without touching the samples. And the unit will distill and titrate samples automatically. Finally, the software will transfer the data into the LIMS systems automatically without further hassle. Question for our viewers, how many people do you need today to do the same job? Interesting enough. Yes, so, uh, we have many, many, many examples of automation nowadays and really automation is a big challenge for, for every lab. But as a, again, as I said, our company can really help customers really to um, to speed up uh, the workflow as much as possible according to the lab specific needs. That's right. So a question that I have is how can you share about the advanced technologies that have been developed to improve protein and fat determination in ready meals? Yes, um, I can give you a few examples of those. First example would be extraction uh, versatility. As you know, Buhi was the first company in the market to offer genuine Soxlet extraction systems. Our um, universal extractor, the E800, has the unique feature of controlling each of is six extraction columns independently. So that allows simultaneous extraction of six samples at the same time with both different solvents and methods. Yeah, you, you can even run basically multiple extraction methods at the same time. But that's not all. Our condenser system is the most efficient on the market. 
and that, that cannot be recovered over 90% of the solvent with any method. And uh, in labs, solvent is quite an expense, so that can help customers to achieve extensive cost savings. Uh, for those with higher demands, we also offer extraction chambers called LSB, so large sample volume. Uh, they have a generous uh, 320 milliliters solvent volume, and so that's quite large for very large samples, but we can also extract with um, as much as only 50 milliliters of solvent for each extraction. So that's a huge example of uh, cost saving. Uh, we always listen to our customers. So, and customers have told us about uh, the problems they find in the lab. So, for example, one problem is to um, evaporate com completely the solvent at the, at the end of the extraction without running the risk of burning the samples from this kind of need, the analyte protection sensor was born. The analyte protection sensor ensures that there is always a little bit of solvent left in the beaker at the end of the evaporation. So that really prevents the risk of uh, burning the sample at the end. I can give you another example, Mosh and Moa. What are those? So many food samples, uh, especially those from ready meals, may contain mineral oil. This oil originates from recycled cardboard packaging. So now mineral oils um, are a combination of various hydrocarbons. And that really makes it challenging to uh, separate them individually. This is where the Buki speed extractor comes into play. The speed extractor basically can extract and examine cardboard samples in food packaging and basically it outpaces traditional extraction methods because of speed. So in uh, the, the extraction can be completed in a matter of minutes instead of hours. And once you have done your extraction, the fractions that you obtain, namely MOSH, mineral oil saturated hydrocarbons, or MOA, mineral oil aromatic hydrocarbons are subsequently subjected to analysis and no post extraction cleanups required this approach is not only faster but also more effective than investigating mineral oil in uh, dry food samples this is a uh, an application and note procedure that can be found easily in uh, the, our website Last example, uh, near infrared spectroscopy. So our NIR proximate system. Um, unlike other companies in the market, our NIR proximate units come pre-standardized by the factory. What does it mean? So it means that no matter where you put them, you're always going to get the exact same results this not only saves you a bunch of cash, but also saves you from the headache of recalibrations for every unit you place in your lab. Plus, the software that comes with it makes creating calibrations for different ready meals a piece of cake. So really easy to do, a lot easy to do. Yeah. Well, uh... Probably I would just... Um, um, maybe outline that uh, our company is built on values and we sum up that in the motto quality in your hands so and following this principle that we have always been developing technologies that generally help our customers in day-to-day -day work right that's very interesting to know that buki has been a foot forward when it comes to advancements in the latest technologies uh masimo i would also like to know what is the cost of inaccurate protein and fat determination in food manufacturing like how does it impact the manufacturers uh, when it comes to inaccurate determination uh well I mean, there are several reasons, but let me reverse your question. 
what's the cost of inaccurate protein and fat determination in food manufacturing? So, for example, wrong food labeling can damage credibility, exposed to legal liability, and finally erode cons consumers' trust uh, for a food manufacturer. Mislabeling, especially regarding allergens, may pose a high danger for both customers and company brands. Ensuring that the product food labels comply with regulations, standards, and industry best practice is important and reflects actual product quality. So investing in accurate protein and fat determination equipment like the automated Kildal system that we named is not only necessary but also essential. Uh, food ingredients are also a significant cost for the manufacturers. Quality parameters like moisture, fat, protein are crucial and inaccurate ingredient quality and quantity can lead to uh, poor final products and above all higher production costs. So ingredient product properties can also change during production and that requires um, routine at line analysis to maintain high standards and avoid uh, costly over, over uh, formulating. So submitting samples to external labs is often costly and time consuming, but necessary for, uh, for manufacturers. In alternative, investing in an internal chemical lab, uh, a common practice in Europe and US, actually aids cost control and overall production quality. Beauty um, can support customers in setting up uh, um, a comprehensive food analysis lab with the passion, the expertise, and the high quality that really is part of our culture. Right, definitely uh, the consumers can uh, have a look at the Buki portfolio, what it has to offer is when it comes to the ready meals and the food industry in whole. Yep, yeah, absolutely. So you have speaking a very wide of, catalog. Right, uh, speaking of which, can you share the success stories or case studies where there have been improved protein and fat determination that led to better uh, business outcomes? Okay, many, um, well, many of our customers don't allow us to, to disclose uh, the spec of how their production cycles have improved uh, or the specific benefits gained by using our products. But I mean, if you look at the companies that in time have been using our products, that's a, uh, a quite large number. Think of uh, uh, companies like Nestlé, for example, uh, however, I can present you uh, a technical example uh, with some precise calculations that will give you an example of, on how much you can save and really how much you can improve uh, your process. So, for example, during um, Keldal distillation, um, basically um, you can save money. You can save money by using a technical feature which is unique to our instruments. That is the reaction detection sensor. So when you perform Keldal determination, you need to use sodium hydroxide, and that comes with a cost. So this sensor, the reaction detection sensor, really ensures precise uh, sodium hydroxide usage according to how much it's needed from the, the, the sample. And that really prevents unnecessary costs for both the chemical and the excess reagent disposal. Uh, let me give an example. Say you process 50 samples per week, and each sample uh, uh, uses a 50 milliliters volume of sodium hydroxide. Well, in that case, your lab can save up to 2,100 uh, American dollars each year. That's quite a lot. Just by using this small technical feature which comes with our instruments. So s small expenses can accumulate, as you can see. And Buhi has developed a calculator 
really to help you quantify the savings you can achieve using our sensor um, for our customer specific needs. I mean, people can check with uh, local uh, uh, representatives, sales representatives in India for additional information. And uh, I'd like to invite all folks who are keen on learning more about enhancing that production process or, or elevating the quality of the products really to get in touch with us for additional details. Right. Uh, the consumers who are in the food industry can definitely take this up and uh, see how they can improve their manufacturing processes by serving quality. Absolutely. 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 And one a question, last question that I have for you is uh, how can our listeners uh, right now who are viewing this podcast uh, stay informed about the latest advancements and research in protein and fat determination in the food industry? Okay, thank you for this question. So I, I'd like to start with this. So to all our viewers, feel free to reach us in any way possible. If you really want further insights in about, about the latest in protein fat determination in the food industry and how at Buhi we can help you to enhance your work, we will be glad to answer all of your questions. So you can check it out through uh, many channels. So for example, the Buhi website, I would start. The Buhi website is like the hub of knowledge. You can find product info, application notes, and technical documents. Blogs, Buki publishes uh, several science blogs. One of the most interesting ones is the food blog called Charlotte Holmes and the Food Detectives. Uh, there you can find information about sample analysis, sample preparation, ingredients, new application notes, news and interesting topics about the food world in general. Webinars, webinars, Buki throws regular webinars um, covering analytical chemistry, including protein and fat determination. Uh, people can really get the scoop on the latest tech and practices and, and also chat with our experts, chat with us. Um, application notes, um, I invite people to download our application notes Application notes are real-world insights in uh, technical documents with step-by-step -step guides and case studies really to keep you in, uh, in the loop. And, and finally, technical support. Technical support, I mean, uh, if people are really um, curious and uh, they can really contact us, uh, our experts worldwide for, for guidance, troubleshooting, and the freshest info and protein and fat analysis. We are here for you. Really for here for you. Well, that uh, definitely you. sounds uh, pretty much helpful for all the people out there. Uh, thank you, Dr. Massimo, for this wonderful and insightful uh, discussion that we had today. And I hope it has been equally informative for all our viewers. So it was a pleasure having you all today and quite inspiring as well. So as we conclude the webinar exploring the critical aspects of protein and fat determination in ready meals, I just have one motto or one takeaway that prioritize both quality and health. And if you have any further queries or you want to dwell deeper into this topic, you can feel free to connect to Buki and the support team. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Let's keep in touch. Sure. Thank you.